Hi everybody, now the first time I ever walked into a photographic studio um, I was about 17 years old and the photographer was shooting a gold watch and ever since then uh, it fascinated me uh, all the reflectors etc so this is how to do it okay in this shot we're going to photograph a watch and I'm going to photograph it from above directly from above now that's strange, isn't it? Now, I've made it easy for myself because I don't want to be climbing up a ladder all the time. So, why put the camera right over the top when I can risk dropping a reflector on the subject or anything like that? And on top of that, dust will fall on the subject a lot easier. Now, I've put it on a small background, a small white background, because I know I'm only going to be photographing the face. Now, I've done that because any if I put too much white background, the light will hit the background that's over here, fire back into the lens and cause flare. So it's very useful just using a small background. So we've got two advantages. One, I don't have to climb up on a ladder. Um, I once did this with a car when I was photographing it. Um, instead of lying on the floor, I put the car on a table, um, like this. But anyway, this now is a watch. So, uh, I don't have to climb the ladder. So we'll get on with it like that. Right, we've got um, pretty near the centre of the image and that's what we're going to shoot, is a picture like that. Now, the first thing you'll notice, I hope, is that the watch hands say nine minutes to two. Well, that's tradition to make a nice little frame for the name. The second hand uh, would probably be around 29. You see what's happening now, the second hand is making a line um, but that's not very nice. It, well, I'd normally put it lower, but as it's a, a watch I got out of a, a drawer, it's been around for ages, um, I haven't got a battery in it, so I can't move that. But anyway, I'd normally have it around 28 seconds past the hour. Now, this is a tradition, as I said. Now, this being 9 minutes to 2, it can also be 9 minutes after 10. That's also um, the two choices. And you'll normally see a real watch photographer, uh, you'll separate a real watch photographer from someone who doesn't do watches by that. Right, now I've got all the other lights switched off now in the studio and the daylight's uh, blocked off. I've pulled the curtains. Um, <clears throat> now, because I do like having from time to time daylight in the room, uh, if I bring the light forward, you'll see what amazing differences you get just by, as I said, those small movements. Now, if I just move the light, you can see it's still moving. That's just the vibration of the light. So that's only moving, whoa, a couple of centimeters. So now what I've got to do is find the position of the light that allows me to see nicely the rim, which is, as I said, a very difficult watch because it's got one solid band rather than a nicely textured band, which is a lot easier. We're moving the light. I've moved it a little bit, but I'm just having, I'm play now, and this will take me probably an hour um, to actually see how I want to light it. Because I can bring card in and I can do, now see what that does to the ring, uh, sorry, to the face. Um, I've, where, the, where it's set now, there's too much light over the name. So there's a reflection over the name. A lot of photographers might ask for the glass to be taken out now. I don't agree with that. I think we have to work hard. Uh, well, I've got the main light now in a position where it's going to stay, in theory. Um, the reason is it's got a nice little reflection right across the glass and it brings out the little uh, medallion at uh, 12 o'clock. And I think it's a base that I can work for uh, from then on. So I'll get on and light it and then show you at the end uh, how it's lit. Right, now this is the flash uh, shot, so it's colour balanced for flash, which is nice. It's uh, showed up the gold quite nicely. Um, I think it's a nice shot. Now I'll show you now how the light was made. Or I'll show you the set. Right, well here's the set. Now as you say, as you see, it's quite difficult. So I'll go handheld. You have to excuse me because I've got a bit of a shaky hand. And um, I'll try and show you. Well that's roughly the view that the camera had. It was a um, 135mm with one close-up ring because I've broken my macro. Um, <laughs> It's difficult to explain really. Um, well, 
I'll walk around it and then what we'll do is dismantle it bit by bit. Right, this is a view from, uh, uh, well, you can see the box and the watch is the other side of the box. And there are odd bits of black card and there are odd bits of white card. Um, again, from the other angle. Um, each little card is doing something. Well, here goes. Um, I think the best thing to do is take that out of the way and that will show you this black, this black uh, reflector. That was causing one of the lines. The tracing paper was just causing a little bit of softness. Oh, a bit of softness on the one. This was causing uh, the reflection that came down there. Uh, this one, well I'll move the other tracing paper away because it's got the same thing. Also has a black uh, reflector or a black card causing one of the lines. This one is causing the reflection that's across there, and this one is causing the reflection that was at the bottom. And of course you know about them anyway. So all that takes a bit of time to organise, but yeah, not a bad result. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you've got lots of gold watches, now you know how to photograph them. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.